Hey guys and welcome back to Call of the Wild. In today's video, we are going to talk about all of the different spawn rates for every rare in Silver Ridge Peaks. For every single species. We're also going to have a look at an image of every single rare so that you know what they look like so that it is easier for you guys to find them. If you do enjoy the video guys, make sure to hit that like button. If you'd like to join us for more daily Call of the Wild content, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notify bell and we're going to head right into it. Now let me know in the comments guys, what's your best way of finding rares? I would love to know. What have you had the most success with with finding rares? Is it single player, multiplayer, grinding? And what is the hardest rare for you to find on Silver Ridge Peaks? For me, it is a melanistic, a nice big melanistic muley. That is what I'm after right now. And I would also love a really nice big albino Rocky Mountain elk. Those are two things that I have not been able to find yet. So if you've ever wondered how rare every rare is in the game, we are going to do a video on every single reserve and share the spawn rate of every rare in the game, starting with Silver Ridge Peaks. So here we have Rocky Mountain Elk. Now, piebald Rocky Mountain Elk have a 0.56% spawn rate. Spawn in at a rate of 5.6 out of a thousand spawns. So about five out of a thousand. So not too common. So the only other rare variation for Rocky Mountain Elk is albino. And albino Rocky Mountain Elk have a 0.06% spawn rate. Now again, that is any size, but to find a really nice big one, not that easy to do. But I just find all these different spawn rates for every rare very fascinating. To get down to the actual spawn rates of the rares is really, really interesting to me. Okay, and there is our elk. He is a level 3 silver 344.8, and he is just a common. So anything that is not piebald or albino in a Rocky Mountain Elk is just a color variation. It is not a rare. Those are the only two rare variations for Rocky Mountain Elk. Look what we just found, guys. A level 5 Rocky Mountain Elk. We got him. And their common fur variations include light gray, brown, and common. Now, unfortunately, this guy is a guaranteed troll. He doesn't even have a shot at making diamond. He is just not big enough. But he must die. Okay, moving on to bighorn sheep. Now, bighorn sheep are a lot of fun to hunt here in Silver Ridge Peaks, and I don't think diamonds are that easy to come by. I think they're one of the tougher diamonds. So the only rare variation that bighorn sheep actually come in is albino. That's it. I have never seen one. I would love, love to find one. And they actually have a spawn rate of 0.06%, which equates to about 3 out of 5,000 spawns. That's it. Now, that's any spawn. That could be a male or a female. So if you are looking for a great big albino bighorn sheep, they are pretty rare, I would say. They are very rare. The other tricky thing about bighorn sheep is they do drink at the same time as mountain lions. So if you do see one that you would like to shoot, I do suggest you shoot it really quickly because it is more than likely going to be fleeing any second. They are actually one species that are really tough to take down with the bow, in my opinion. So as you can see here, we're up in Tufon, and this is an awesome spot for bighorn sheep, but also we always have a lot of mountain lions drinking here. So usually the bighorn are fleeing. Now, bighorn do come in some color variations. So they also come in black, brown, and dark brown, as well as common, but those are just variations. None of those are actually rare colors. Okay, moving on to mountain goats. Now, mountain goats are a lot of fun to hunt here in Silver Ridge Peaks. And finding a rare is not an easy thing to do. I have exactly zero rare mountain goats, unfortunately, but I haven't really targeted them. Just finding males can be a tough thing to do. That's a big female. Now, mountain goats do have several common variations. They come in white, beige, and light brown, and they have two different rare variations. So they come in albino and melanistic. Now, finding an albino mountain goat as you can see, it's not an easy thing to do. How do you tell when they're albino? 
It's not like we get to have a quick peek at their hooves and see if they're pink. Basically, you just gotta get lucky and happen to shoot one. Now, albino mountain goats have a 0.04% spawn rate. Now that's just spawning, then you gotta figure out which one to shoot, so they are not easy to find. And then we do have melanistic and they have the exact same spawn rate. 0.04% or one out of 2,250. I was hoping that that was a mountain goat, but it's not. <laughs> Psych me out. Why don't you? So if you do have an albino or a melanistic mountain goat in your lodge, I'm a little jelly. Not gonna lie, I am a little jealous because they are pretty, pretty sweet finds. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I personally think multiplayer is a great way to find rares. And one of the reasons that I feel that way is if you think about it, if someone is inclined to put their map on multiplayer and open it up for other people to play, they probably do it on a fairly regular basis, so that map is getting all kinds of respawns regularly. So, therefore, there really should be a higher chance of spawning rares on a multiplayer map that is often offered up to other players to play. Makes sense to me. And we took down that female. We'll take a couple of those down. What just happened there? I just love this map. <laughs> love it, love it. And a level three and that's a light brown. So that's a color variation. And this one is a white. So if it is albino, it's gonna have pink hooves and a pink nose, but it is very, very hard to tell. But it is very, very satisfying to take down these mountain goats with the 303. I just love this gun. So where we are right here, guys, this is Sun Sisters, and this is an amazing spot for mountain goats. And that's a beige. It's pretty sweet that we're getting to see a lot of the different variations. Pretty lucky. And another light brown. They all look the same to me from 300 meters. That is for sure. Now, moving on to turkeys. Turkeys, Merriam turkeys here in Silver Ridge Peaks are a lot of fun to hunt. And they actually come in four different rare variations, if you can believe that. They come in light brown, melanistic, leucistic, and albino. Now the very first time I shot a melanistic Merriam turkey, I actually did not taxi it because I did not even notice. I expected the entire turkey to be black, and that is not the way it is with melanistics. Okay, so guys, this is a light brown Merriam turkey right here on the left. The one on the right is a leucistic Rio Grande turkey from Rancho. I think he's pretty cool as well. I really like this multi-mount. But these are the most common of the rare variations for Merriam turkeys. Now this here is an albino Merriam turkey and albinos have a spawn rate of 0.1%. The same as leucistic and melanistic. All three of them have a spawn rate of 0.1% or one out of a thousand spawns. Moving on to black bears. They are a very easy one to look at for rare variations because there just aren't any. Black bears have no rare variations, but there are plenty of different color variations for black bears. So they come in brown, blonde, and cinnamon, but there is no albino and no melanistic. No rare variations, which is kind of sad. It kind of makes them a little less exciting to hunt for. And there we do have a massive mythical. Yeah, it's interesting. Black bears are the only bear variation that has no rares. We do have albino for grizzlies and for brown bears, just not for black bears. And we are on to muleys. Muleys are a really fun species to hunt in Silver Ridge Peaks. I actually love hunting them here. The only thing I don't love is their very, very, very short drink time. Now, muleys drink from 9 until 10 or 10.30. They can have a drink time as small as 30 minutes. But there are lots of different rare variations for muleys. Now, muleys come in piebald, albino, and melanistic. Now, the different variations that they come in include gray, blonde, 
And dilute is an uncommon variation. It is not an official rare. We're gonna have to find some more. We're actually gonna go into the lodge because I do have quite a few rare muleys. Let's go have a look. Okay, so here we are in the lodge and this is one of the variations of piebald for mule deer. There are actually two different types of piebald. This one I call the patchy kind. And this one over here is what I call, well, Kinsko. He named it, it's a very cool name. We call these sneaky piebalds but they are two different piebald variations for muleys and they're both very cool. This one we call sneaky piebald because I often don't even notice that it's piebald till I pick it up. It's happened to me a few times, what can I say? Now piebald have a spawn rate for muleys of 0.32% or just over three out of 1000 spawns. Okay, so this here is my albino muley and albino mule deer have a spawn rate of 0.16% and that equates to about one and a half out of a thousand spawns or three out of 2000, just over three. So not that common and to find a nice big one, even harder. Now this guy here, he is a dilute and they are uncommon, they are not rare, but finding one of these in a diamond would be pretty sweet. I'd be all right with it. So the only thing I need left in my muley collection is a nice big melanistic. Now they are not very easy to find. I do have an image of one. I'm gonna put it up on the screen right here. So melanistic muleys have a spawn rate of 0.08% and that equates to one out of 1,250 spawns. And then again, finding a nice big one makes it even harder. So not an easy thing to come by, but we definitely need to find one. Our next species is pronghorn. And there are a lot of pronghorn in Silver Ridge Peaks. They're a lot of fun to hunt for. Now pronghorn come in three different rare variations. They come in piebald, and there are actually two different variations of piebald for pronghorn, leucistic and albino. Now piebald pronghorn have a spawn rate of 0.62%, which equates to 3.1, just over three out of 5,000 spawns. So fairly rare. Leucistic has a spawn rate of 0.2% or two out of a thousand. And albino has a spawn rate of 0.06% or just over one out of 2000 spawns. Now I actually do have a leucistic and a piebald in the lodge. Let's have a peek. Okay, so this is one of the variations of rare. Pretty cool looking. And this is an image of the other variation of rare for piebald pronghorn. And this is a leucistic. I don't have an albino, but I do have a photo and this is what an albino pronghorn looks like. They are pretty awesome. Talking about mountain lions, here we are in the lodge and as you can see, I do have a fair bit of rare mountain lions. We gotta remember these spawn rates are for any spawn. It can be female, it can be male. Most of the time it's probably gonna be female because females spawn way more often than males do, as you can see. But finding a nice big rare is even tougher. Not that easy to do. But I've done pretty good with the mountain lions and their rare variations are definitely more common than in other species, I would say. So mountain lions have a 0.37% spawn rate for albino or 3.7 out of a thousand. And melanistic have a 0.19% spawn rate, but definitely mountain lions are, I would say the most common diamond in the game. If you are looking for a first diamond, definitely you want to head to Silver Ridge Peaks and hunt those mountain lions because diamonds are not that tough. I have several and I would definitely say they are the most common in the game. Now we do have one more species to copper for Silver Ridge Peaks and that is Plains Bison. Now this here is a leucistic Plains Bison and the three rare variations that Plains Bison do actually come in are albino, leucistic, and melanistic. So the leucistic here, they are a little darker than the albinos. We do have an albino over there. But when you do spawn one of these, you can really tell that they are rare because they are such a huge creature. And they all have the very same spawn rate. And that is 0.22%. And 
and that is for albino, leucistic, and melanistic plains bison, and that is an albino right here. They're really cool. Look at their pink nose and pink hooves. I think they're pretty sweet. Now, I don't have an image of a melanistic, but I'll put one up on the screen here for you. They can be very hard to see that they are melanistic. That's the hard thing with them. They don't quite stick out like the albino and the leucistic plains bisons. But they're pretty cool trophies, nonetheless. So guys, that was the spawn rate for every rare variation in Silver Ridge Peaks. And I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, I'm going to ask you to do one thing, smash that like button. And if you'd like to join us for more daily Call of the Wild content, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notify bell. And we will see you guys in the next one. This is my gray diamond mountain lion. I have one of them. Take care, guys. I love hunting rares. So much fun. And we do need a Melamuli. Badly.